Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today the weather is not very nice at all. Completely overcast, it's raining, um, and there's even a forecast of possibly snow. Um, lovely. Uh, later this week though, on Wednesday, it's due to be sunny, and luckily that's the day I've arranged for my cement to be delivered for the pour at the top of the garden for the base for my office and observatory. Behind me is part of the office. So um, nice little kit to be built there, got plenty of work to do. So uh, one of the jobs I did mention I was gonna do was I was gonna clean up my peer adapters and, um, or mount adapters and the little metal adapters that they sit on. Um, I'll clean these up so everything just looks a little bit nicer. So this is what I do when the weather's naff. I uh, keep myself busy doing little jobs like this and um, just getting everything together that you need for when the nights are clear. So I've got a rig that I want to rebuild. Um, I've got a new scope that's arrived, which I'm going to be talking about soon. And also there's a new camera. So uh, I've got quite a few bits to put together. I'm going to the Practical Astronomy Show at the end of the week, which I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully I'll get to see some of you. And um, yeah, there's a few little bits I, uh, I'm after there, some saddles and uh, a few other little bits. I'm not sure yet. I've uh, got to have a little think about what I need, but um, budget's a bit tight at the moment because I'm spending most of it on this build. But anyway, uh, I'm going to crack on with this. So uh, I'm going to get these polished and uh, we'll have a look at the uh, final product. One of the things I can't polish though, on my, uh, I've got a, some polishing wheels that I put in my drill, is my uh, peer adapters because they're anodized these are anodized aluminium so if you try and polish them up you just sort of dull them off really so um, I'm just going to give them a good clean up I've already cleaned them once and they've come up quite nice and this is the one for the EQ8 and that's the EQ6 and on the other side you can have an HEQ5 so it's quite a versatile adapter but basically give these a nice clean get these on some nice cleaned up studs and then we're ready for when the uh, that, that pad's down we can actually put the piers together and we can use them which will be really nice I'll have the office in place and then all that's left after that is to start building the observatory around everything so loads to do but I'm really enjoying the project and uh, can't wait to keep uh, crack on with the rest of it so uh, let's get on with this so before I stick anything in the wheel I'm not going to hold on to them I'm going to stick them on this uh, threaded rod that way I keep my hands nice and safe and uh, we're just going to use some uh, polishing block on the wheel and uh, get these clean so uh, let's go
polish out really nicely. So, this is essential to get good guiding. So here the two pier tops completed, I'm really pleased with them, they look very smart and uh, I know they'll do a great job as they did a great job before uh, in my old observatory and um, this time my piers are even bigger so I think they're going to be absolutely great and I just, yeah, nice to make them look clean and shiny and sparkly. Anyway, there's a little insight into what I get up to on a cloudy, rainy day. I either muck about with some data, make some videos, or clean some metal. I don't know. Whatever's, whatever's available, I'll get my hands into. But um, I'm really looking forward to getting these completed and on the piers um, with the concrete slab down and everything else built around it. I cannot wait. It's going to be a lovely setup, and I really can't wait to get to use it. Until next time, please take care. And unlike me, I wish you all clear skies.